Hi, my name is Chelsea Rowell, and I'm the Digital Initiatives Librarian at Wake Forest University's Z. Smith Reynolds Library. One of my favorite parts of my work is digitizing archival and special collections materials and making them findable on the web. Many genealogists begin researching their family history by filling in branches of their family tree using large-scale online resources such as the United States Census. Once you've identified names, dates, and places associated with your family from these resources, you may be able to glean more details about individual family members by performing archival research at smaller, local, or private institutions. Sometimes when you perform archival research, you travel a great distance to get to a library or archives that holds materials related to your research. You might spend many hours or even days on site sifting through collections in order to locate documents related to your research. But it's not always possible to perform archival research in person. What then? Digital collections provide online access to some materials available when visiting a library or archives in person, but only some. Think of digital collections as the tip of an iceberg that's visible above the waterline. It's hard to tell the exact size or shape of the iceberg beneath the water's surface. Digital collections comprise only a small part of an archive's total holdings. So, why isn't everything online? The main reason is that publishing these collections on the web requires a lot of work. Just as librarians and archivists prioritize what materials to collect, we also prioritize what materials to digitize. We make these decisions based on factors such as historical value, physical condition, and copyright status. For example, sometimes an item requires preparation before it can be digitized. Here, loose pages of a scrapbook need to be secured. In this case, the individual item is treated so that it can withstand the stresses of the digitization process. Other times, materials have rights restrictions preventing their digitization. Just be aware that another reason not everything appears online is that some materials can't be digitized due to their copyright status. Librarians and archivists add value to digitized materials when they publish digital collections online. One way of enriching digital collections is by adding structured descriptions that exist alongside digitized items. We call these structured descriptions metadata. Another way of enriching digital collections is by making the text of a document keyword searchable. When a newspaper is digitized, your computer can't tell that it's looking at text and not a bunch of meaningless squiggles. We perform a process called OCR, short for optical character recognition, which enables computers to recognize the squiggles as letters. That way, when you search digital collections, you're not only searching the item's description, you're also searching the full text of the item itself. If you are not getting search results, does that mean there's nothing out there for you? Not at all. Remember, because creating digital collections requires so much work, they represent a small sample of what an archives has to offer. Additionally, not all content in digital collections is found by search engines such as Google and Bing. To search digital collections, you will often have to visit the website of the library, archives, or historical society that makes these digital collections available. Seek out institutions that might hold materials related to your family members. Did your grandfather attend college? Perhaps his university's archives will have student newspapers or yearbooks from his time there. Was your great aunt born in a small town? Perhaps her town's historical society can help you to learn more about what it was like to live there when she was young. Once you have identified places that might have materials related to your family, browse their websites. 
Don't be discouraged if your family members aren't explicitly mentioned. Pick up the phone or make inquiries by email. Even though not everything is online, with persistence, you may be able to learn more about your family history from archival materials.